Hi folks, Jason Webster here. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Inside PTI. Hey, today we're gonna to talk about a study we've been working on at the PTI farm called our Planter All Wrong Study. And in this particular study, we're, we're looking at three individual settings on the planter that we feel that we really need to have dialed in and have the planter set correctly when we go to plant corn. What are those three settings? Number one, our residue managers. Leading the way, getting rid of that residue in front of the row unit, pretty important, right? How about downforce? Enough weight on that row unit, just enough to maintain the planting depth that you're trying to achieve, no more, no less. And then lastly, singulation. We all love to see that picket fence stand of corn and we'll, you know, what does it look like when we screw this thing up? So we're, we're looking at these three settings on the planter. We're gonna look at losses individually, but then we're gonna turn around and look at it. What happens when we have the planter set incorrectly in regard to these three settings all at the same time? You know, and we've done this at the PTI farm, and, you know, this past year in 2022, getting these three settings wrong at the same time showed up number three in our top 10 list of losers. Here's a list of the, the, the things that cost me the most money at the PTI farm in 2022. This all wrong study, getting the row cleaners, the downforce and the singulation all wrong at the same time, cost me about $120 an acre. Yeah, yeah, pretty important to get these settings right on our planner. All right, let's go through each one of them individually. Row cleaners, again, leading the way, getting rid of that trash and that residue, getting it out of the furrow. You know, all of us as farmers, you know, we've got our corn planters. It doesn't matter what color they are. It doesn't matter how many rows you have on your planter. We're all creating a furrow and we're trying to give that seed the best start possible. But to do that, we got to get the residue, the old residue out of the trench. If we don't, it's going to wick moisture potentially away from the seed and it's going to be a great place to harbor res uh, diseases. So we don't want that to happen. So we're going to use residue managers to lightly move that trash out of the way ahead of our planter row unit. We were, we're testing a couple of different settings when it comes to, to residue management. This is a float position, so we're running zero pounds of pressure. We're just letting this just run right on top of the ground and lightly just moving residue away ahead of the gauge wheels of the planter row unit. Then we come in with what we think is our perfect or our sweet spot residue management setting. And this past year, we were running 20 pounds down of air pressure. And we thought that was doing us a really good job out in the field, doing the best job in regard to residue management. Again, leading away, getting rid of that residue. So those planter gauge wheels, um, we don't have any residue in front of those gauge wheels at all and keeping the furrow clean. Then we just raise our residue managers all the way up and we just act like we don't even have any on the planter and we compare these settings in the field to find out if we do this wrong, what's it gonna cost us yield wise and how much money are we gonna lose as a result? We've been running clean sweep in this particular study with our residue managers. This is where from the cab, we can adjust the aggressiveness of, of our residue managers. We can watch them perform from the cab of the tractor and adjust them and really fine tune to get these residue managers working for us correctly. We've got a new res residue management system we've been testing for the past two years here at the PTI farm called Reveal. This is a really unique residue management system because you'll notice that number one, this residue management system has a gauge wheel on it. So it's, it sits in front of our gauge wheels of the row unit, but it's gonna ride and, and allow those tines of those residue managers to really be fine tuned and go after that residue that you want. We can really hone in and do a good job of, of moving that residue off to the side. The other advantage I think with this re reveal residue management system is it's attached to the frame of the planner. So now it's not on the row unit like we've had in the past and each one of them can work independently. It's gonna be really important when it comes to downforce, which is our next component of this study, keeping enough weight on the row unit to maintain the depth that you wanna plant your crop. We're using Delta Force, we're using hydraulic cylinders and a measurement or a sensing system that allows us to measure ground contact. So here's what happens. When we lose ground contact, the row unit is wanting to come up out of the ground. Let's say for corn, you're wanting to plant two inches in depth. If that row unit's coming up, you're gonna be shallowing up your planting date and the your planting depth and the risk of that is planting into dry soil. Now, on the other hand, let's say you're too heavy on your row unit. This, can, this, is, this too much downforce can cause sidewall compaction, and that's gonna limit the plant, plant's access to water and nutrients down the road. So this is a measuring or a sensing system that's gonna move that weight of the row unit with our hydraulic cylinders. If we're too heavy, we're gonna use that cylinder and we're gonna lift up, and we do that a lot of the time as we're planting across the field. 
Okay, if we're too light, we're coming up out of the ground, we're gonna push down again to maintain that planting depth. And again, remember in the cab of the tractor, we've got our 2020 monitor where we're being able to watch this, monitor this in real time and really know how well our downforce is operating on the planter. Lastly, the third component of this study is singulation. We're using V-set and V-drive to create us that perfect stand of corn, that picket fence stand of corn. You guys love this. When you go out after planting time, the corn comes up and you're doing your stand counts, you just love to see that picket fence stand of corn. But what if we do this wrong? What if we don't get that perfect stand? You know, we think a perfect stand is 99.5% is singulation. But we're going in in this study and we're creating situations where our singulation is down to 95%. How do we do it? Well, we're bringing goof plates in and we'll fill some of the holes up of these discs to create skips or gaps out in our, our stand of corn. And then we'll drill new holes in the discs to give us multiples. And we'll do this down to 95% singulation to find out what is that going to do if we screw this singulation up, what's it gonna cost us yield wise and how much is it gonna cost me on a per acre basis. Now, let's look at, at, at each one of these individually. Let's go to the residue management system. Again, we've been using clean sweep in the past for this particular study. We've got data here from 2018 to 2022. So quite a few years of data here. Look where we're running no row cleaners at all. That's a little over an eight bushel loss, 8.3 to be exact. We go to a float position. We're, we're, we're losing 2.4 bushel compared to our grower setting. So it just shows you this can add up pretty quickly. And this is going to depend a lot on your tillage situation, and how much residue you have out in the field. But this goes to show you this can add up pretty quickly if we have a residue manager set in the wrong position. How about downforce? Now, if we're running too light of downforce, again, we mentioned this earlier, you run the risk of shallowing up and planting into dry soils. Look at our multi-year data, light downforce running almost a 14 bushel loss of corn out in the field. It's just tremendous. Too heavy a downforce, it cuts this loss about in half. And this is why we usually say, if you have to hedge your bed of, of choosing whether you're too light or too heavy, we're probably gonna ask you to be just a little bit on the heavier side because of the data you see here on this graph. How about singulation? What's it gonna cost if we screw singulation up? Well, data from 2018 to 2022 says that, you know, we're losing about 2.1 bushel of corn for every percent singulation we're losing in the field. So again, going from 99.5% singulation down to 95, this past year in 2022, that was a $51.20 loser. And you can see the other years we've got in this particular, um, in, in the graph, um, we've varied from $30 to $50, but it just shows you that singulation is pretty important. We need, need that planter dialed in, otherwise we're gonna have some significant losses. But the question of the day is this, what if these three things, the residue managers, the downforce and the singulation, what if I screw them up all at the same time together? What kind of yield losses are we going to see? And this is our multi-year data, doing all three things um, wrong here. You know, we've got a four-year average of 26.2 bushel corn losses. And when you look at that on a dollar basis on, per acre, look at this, we're at about $114 acre loss. Some years we've seen up over $140 uh, losses, some years $80 losses, but those are pretty significant. It just shows you how important it is to, to dial that planter in and make her dance for you every single spring. So today's Inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is, does all this precision technology on a planter pay? Well, in, in my opinion, yes. The answer is yes. Planters equipped with precision technology can eliminate costly errors in the field, can eliminate yield loss, revenue losses. How much? Our four-year data would say, if we get these three things wrong, it added up to about 26.2 bushel losses and $114 per acre decrease in farm family revenue. Those, those are just way too significant. So it just shows you how important it is to get these three components right. All right, one of, one of our jobs here at the PTI farm as, a, as an agronomist and a researcher is to figure out if a grower puts these three technologies on his planter, how long will it take to pay for itself? And so we did a little bit of math here. Let's say for downforce, you put a Delta Force system on your planter. For residue management, you put a reveal system on. And then to get that picket fence stand, you're going to go V-set, V-drive. 
Well, that may cost you up to $4,000 a row on your planter. And I just did some quick math for a 16 row planter. We run a lot of 16 row planters here at the PTI farm. In a $4,000 a row, based on the data we talked about today, all three of these technologies, if you would put them on your planter, would pay for themselves in 563 acres. And I think this is important because that's one crop season. One crop season will pay for all three of these technologies. And that goes to show you that, you know, when we make a capital investment on the farm, I expect it to go to work for me and I expect it to make me money. And with these three components, they are making me money on a per acre basis. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode of Inside PTI. If you've got any questions about anything that we've talked about, shoot me an email at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com. I'd love to answer any questions that you have or hear your comments. And by all means, if you've got questions, you can also stop in, talk to your local Precision Planning Premier Dealer, and have a conversation about this. Thanks for joining us today. We will see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks for watching.